Lillahi ta'ala. Oh, the author says, may Allah have mercy upon him. Our ruh, the soul or the spirit. Yajibu al-iman will be ruh. It is obligatory to believe in the soul or the spirit. Uh, so that's obligatory. Uh, although it's not mentioned in the hadith that Angel Jibreel taught the Muslims that faith is six things. Believing in the soul is not one of those six things. That hadith doesn't mean there's not anything that we believe in other than those six. Rather, those are the most fundamental. That's why the Sheikh calls those six Arkan, Arkan al called the, the integrals of the creed. It is obligatory to believe in the soul. It is a subtle body. Yani, it is something made of particles, but it is very subtle, intangible. Yani, intangible for the human. Not for the angel. Allah makes the angel capable of grabbing the soul. You know, there are, or there is an angel that installs the soul into the fetus. And there's the angel that uh, uninstalls the soul. The angel of death. Rahimahullah. لا يعلم حقيقته إلا الله. No one knows its reality but Allah. الشرح, the explanation. الجسم إما أن يكون كثيفا كالشجر والحجر والإنسان. A body would either be dense, that means tangible for a human, like trees and stones and humans or else it would be subtle like the air and the genies and the angels and the soul مِنْ غَيْرِ أَنْ يَشْعُرَ وَيُحِسَّ بِهِمْ The angels, because they are so subtle, they have the capability of entering into a human body without the human realizing or feeling it. وَالْجِنُّ كَذَلِكَ and the genies also. The genie is able to enter into a human body other than prophets. Without the human feeling it. Like the associate devil. Who whispers to the human So that he could uh, Bid him with evil He enters the chest of the human Without the person feeling it Notice لا يستطيع الشيطان ولو كان قرينا أن يدخل في جسم نبي. The devil, even if he were an associate devil, is unable to enter the body of a prophet. ومن يعتقد ذلك كفر. And anyone who believed that a prophet could become possessed by a devil or that his 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 body uh, could host a devil, blasphemes. وَإِنَّمَا الشَّيْطَانُ يُوَثْوِسُ لَهُمْ مِنْ خَارِجِ Rather, the devil whispers to them from outside. لَكِنْ لَا يَتَسَلَّطُ عَلَيْهِمْ However, he can't control them. 
meaning the devil can't get the prophets. And likewise, the devil has no control over the saints. قال الله تعالى said Allah exalted is he إن عبادي ليس لك عليهم سلطان إلا من اتبعك من الغاوين Indeed, my slaves, you have no dominion over them but any one of them who follows you amongst the misguided. That's the 42nd verse of Surah Al-Hijr. فَالْرُوحُ مِنَ الْأَجْسَامِ الْلَطِيفَةِ And so the soul, it is one of the subtle bodies. وَقَدْ أَخْفَى اللَّهُ عَنَّا حَقِيقَتَهَا And Allah made its reality hidden from us. قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى لِنَبِيِّهِ مُحَمَّدٍ Said Allah, exalted is he to his prophet Muhammad. And they ask you, O Muhammad, about the soul. Say, the soul is a matter of my Lord. And you have not been given of the knowledge about that, but little. That's the 85th verse of Surah Al-Isra. فَنَتْرُكُ الْخَوْضَ فِي الْبَحْثِ عَنْ حَقِيقَتِهَا And so, we abandon delving into researching its reality. لِأَنَّهُ أَمْرٌ لَنْ نَصِلَ إِلَيْهِ Because it is a matter that we will not reach. قال المؤلف رحمه الله said the author may Allah have mercy upon him وقد أجر الله العادة أن تستمر الحياة في أجسام الملائكة والإنسان والجن والبهائم ما دامت تلك الأجسام اللطيفة مجتمعة معها Allah made the nature that life is sustained in the bodies of angels, humans, genies, and animals, as long as that subtle body is merged with them. And Allah made nature that he made it natural that life will depart those bodies if those subtle bodies depart them. And this subtle body, the soul or the spirit, is something created. Laysat Qadima. It is not eternal. And so anyone who says that it is eternal and uncreated, then he has blasphemed. Ash-sharhu, the explanation. Al-arwahu hadithatun makhluqah. The souls are eventual and created. Walakinnaha baqiyatul la tafna. However, they are everlasting. Not perishing. Uh, so here, this is broad statement here. He didn't make any exclusion in this statement. That doesn't mean there is no exclusion from the statement. I haven't heard. وَبَعْدَ أَنْ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَيِّدَنَا آدَمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ but why I'm saying that, because the animals will come back to life. The animals of this dunya will come back to life. And then on resurrection day, they will pay each other back and then turn to soil. They don't enter paradise and they don't enter hell. So what becomes of their souls? I never heard. 
وبعد أن خلق الله سيدنا آدم عليه السلام أخرج من ظهره أرواح ذريته. But before I translate that, now there's a type of person who would say, uh, "Can you ask?" But don't forget, you don't have to ask all the questions across your mind. If you don't know what happens to the souls of those animals, that's fine. You're not going to be a kafir. You won't commit blasphemy. You won't be a sinner. It's not obligatory on you to know. It won't harm you to not know. So you don't have to ask. So the Shaykh says, وَبَعْدَ أَنْ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَيِّدَنَا آدَمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ after Allah created Master Adam, our father, may peace be upon him. He took out of Adam's back the souls of his progeny. And he gave them the ability to speak. And then all of them confessed to the godhood of Allah. That means the souls of those who would be believers and the souls of those who would be disbelievers. Every kafir's soul bore witness that Allah is its Lord before his body was ever created. When we say here, istamtaqahum, he enabled them to speak. That goes along with saying he gave them intellect. He enabled them to distinguish. He gave them tamiz. Mental discerning. And he enabled them to speak. And so all of them confessed to Allah's godhood. Then, after they come out of the bellies of their mothers, they stay in accordance with that confession. Yani, when he comes out as a witless baby, a baby who has no knowledge and he doesn't have any mental discerning as a baby, when he first comes out of his mother, he will be like the soul was. As far as his confession is concerned. But he won't remember the event. It is said that when the soul mixes with the flesh. When the angel blows the soul. And then it mixes with the flesh. That the soul will forget. And so the person in flesh. He won't remember the incident. Because it is an incident, it is a spiritual incident. It is only a spiritual incident. He will not remember it in his body. Not until, as some said, until his soul goes back into his body after he dies. Because the angel will uninstall his soul, the angel of death. Then usually a person would be buried. And then he'll be in his grave and his soul will go back into his body. Then he becomes alive again. He becomes aware again. And it is said that he remembers everything that he ever experienced. All of it. Imagine remembering everything that ever happened to you. Your whole life. Including that incident. And Allah knows best. لكن الله أنساهم تلك المفاهيم. However, Allah will make them forget that information, that understanding. Allah will make them forget that understanding. يعني Allah will make them forget the incident. ذهبت عنهم المعلومات التي كانت لهم. The information they had will go away from them, will leave them. So they'll be blank, like blank slates when they come out of their mothers. 
ثم بعد ذلك منهم من تعلم الإيمان ونشأ عليه. Then after that are those who will learn faith and grow upon it. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْكُفْرَ وَنَشَعَ عَلَيْهِ And some of them will learn blasphemy and grow up on it. فَصَارَ قِسْمٌ مِنَ الْعِبَادِ مُؤْمِنِينَ وَقِسْمٌ مِنْهُمْ كَافِرِينَ And so some of the slaves will become, يعني will be believers and some of them will be blasphemers. And this is for humans and genies. This doesn't happen to angels, yani. This disregard of believing in Allah properly doesn't happen to angels. And it doesn't happen to animals. Only humans and genies, uh, yani, uh, might disregard belief in God. قَالَ الْمُؤَلِّفُ رَحِيمَهُ اللَّهِ Said the author, may Allah have mercy upon him. وَكَذَلِكَ مَنْ قَالَ الْبَهَائِمُ لَا أَرْوَاحَ لَهَا And likewise, anyone who says that the animals don't have souls. Shaykh is saying, he blasphemes too. كَمَا قَالَ ذَلِكَ مُحَمَّدُ مُتَوَلِّ شَعْرَاوِي just as said by Muhammad Mutawalli Ash-Sha'rawi fi kitabayhi tafsiri wal fatawa in his two books one of them is an interpretation book so his tafsir and one of them is a book of verdicts so his fatwa book so here the sheikh dropped his name and sheikh will always drop anyone's name rahimahullah ta'ala and some people they said Abdullah al Harari he deemed Shaykh a Sha'rawi a kafir. And that's how they said about some other people. They say he deemed Fulan a kafir. He deemed Fulan a kafir. But they don't say why. And here Shaykh saying he's a kafir for denying the animals have souls. وَكَذَلِكَ تَكْذِيبٌ لِلْ وَذَلِكَ تَكْذِيبٌ لِلْقُرْآنِ The Shaykh says, this is contradicting the Qur'an. It is belying the Qur'an. Yani, it is attributing a lie to the Qur'an. He's saying, the denial of souls is attributing a lie to the Qur'an. وَإِنْكَارٌ لِلْعِيَانِ And it is a denial of observation. Not with the meaning that we observe the souls themselves, but with the meaning that we observe the difference between what's alive and what's dead. So what makes it alive is the soul. That's what we know in our religion. So really that issue is much clearer than somebody would like it to be. Unless someone's going to say it's alive without a soul. So that's what the Sheikh's saying. You can't say that. He's saying that's blasphemy. If it's alive, it has a soul. Unless it has supernatural life. Like when Allah made the mountain come to life in the story of Moses. And like when Allah made the tree stump come to life and moan. In the story of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam These things, their lives were supernatural Like when the tree came to life and it trudged through the earth When the Prophet summoned it And it made its way through the ground and came up to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then it spoke And in all those cases, those things went back to how they were Allah gave them life without souls but not the animals the animals have souls and the humans and the genies and the angels have souls and al hurul in paradise and al ghilman al they have souls 
all those living creatures. That's what you call Hayawan. Hayawan means something that's alive by a soul. Hayawan doesn't mean animal, although that's what a lot of people use it for. It means something alive by a soul. The Shaykh says, Qala ta'ala. The Exalted said, وَإِذَا الْوُحُوشُ حُشِرَتْ And when the beasts are herded, that's on Resurrection Day. This means, when the beasts come back to life. So that means they have souls because resurrection is for the body to be reconstructed, recreated, and then reunited with its soul. That's if the body decayed. If the body didn't decay, then re resurrection is just going to be the reunion of the body and the soul. If the body did decay, the resurrection is going to be for the soul to, uh, for the body to reconstruct and then for the soul to go back into it. So then this ayah is evidence that the animals have souls. وَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ And the Messenger of Allah صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ said لَتُؤَدَّنَّ الْحُقُوقُ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهَا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ The rights shall be given to their deserving recipients on Resurrection Day حَتَّى يُقَادَ لِلشَّاتِ الْجَلْحَاء to the extent that rights would be given to uh, the hornless sheep against the horned sheep. Yani, the horned one, the karna, the one that, but the one that didn't have horns. So it's like to say, this one assaulted that one, then on Resurrection Day, Allah Ta'ala gives the one that didn't have horns, horns, and enables that one to hit the transgressing one back. And then they turn to soil. Both of them. Uh, so that's what the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam. Then... How would that be for all the animals, all the lions and alligators and everything, all the insects and everything? Allah knows. That judgment day is going to be something mind-blowing. Rawahu Muslim. That hadith is narrated by Muslim. Ash-sharhu ma'na hadha al-hadith. أن الله تعالى يأخذ الحقوق لأهلها. The meaning of this hadith is that Allah, exalted is He, takes the rights for their deserving. For their deserving recipients. Hatta yuqada ay hatta yuqada haqal jalha ay shati lati laysa laha karn min al karna to the extent that the hornless sheep will be uh, yani redeemed. Will be the hornless sheep will be given its right from the horned sheep. Alati Dorabetha Fidunya, that sheep that but it in this world. But this doesn't mean that. 
ليس ولكن ليس معنى ذلك أن تؤخذ القرناء التي ضربت الأخرى إلى النار This however does not mean that the horned sheep that hit the other one will be taken to hell كما يحصل لبني آدم like what happens to the humans No because Allah gave the humans different status than the animals He gave the humans different capabilities and then gave them responsibilities that weren't given to the animals. So they're not going to be taken to hell like the humans and the genies would. Banu Adam either darab ahaduhum fi dunya insan and volma. If one of the children of Adam hit another one unrightfully in this world yuqtasu minhu bi nar jahannam then he will be uh, paid with the fire of hell yani he will be the, his retaliation he will be retaliated against by the fire of hell ammal bahaim and that is by the way that's general statement from the sheikh here Allah would punish a person whatever way he wills to punish him. Doesn't mean what Sheikh's statement here doesn't mean every single last person who hits someone unjustly, he's going to be punished in hell. أَمَّا الْبَهَائِمْ فَلَيْسَتْ كَذَلِكَ As for the animals, their case is not like that. إِنَّمَا هَذِهِ تَضْرِبُ هَذِهِ كَمَا ضَرَبَتْهَا فِي الدُّنْيَا Rather, this one will hit that other one. This one will hit that other one, just like that one hit it in the dunya. Thumma tamut, and then they die. Yani, they turn to soil. Wala tadkhulul jannata wala nar, and they don't enter the garden nor the fire. Inna ma taroodu tu raba, merely they return to soil. Wa ma yukalu min anna naqata salihin tadkhulul jannah. And what was said that the camel of Salih, the she-camel of Salih, shall enter the garden. وَكَذَلِكَ كَلْبُ أَهْلِ الْكَهْفِ And likewise, the dog of the boys of the cave, that this dog will enter the garden. فَلَا أَصْلَ لَهَ It is baseless. وَيَجِبُ الْكَفُ عَنْ ذَلِكَ الْقَوْلِ And it is obligatory to refrain from saying that. Is there a saying that Ali remembered this during his life? I never heard such a saying. I never heard any exception to any human remembering the event of the souls when they came out of Adam's back. But all I know though is that some of those children uh, they will be uh, very inclined towards monotheism you heard some of the stories some of them they would not accept shirk despite that they were children usually if you teach the child he'll take what you teach